1.5 is not a political goal, it's not a compromise, it's not a wishful target, it's a physically based boundary. Go beyond it and we are likely to cross tipping points, both in the Greenland Ice Sheet, the West Antarctic Ice Sheet, all tropical coral reef systems on planet Earth, and also abrupt thawing of the permafrost in the boreal region. Massive, big tipping point system that are at risk at 1.5. So 1.5 has more validity than ever as a, as, a, as a physically based planetary boundary. We're losing it, yes. I mean, the window is shutting to achieve 1.5, but I would argue that it's not entirely shut. We should still aim for it. Uh, we have an obligation to aim for it. The IPCC shows that there is still a possibility of holding 1.5, but it will uh, very likely mean a period of overshoot. That makes me and, and many of my peers in the scientific community very nervous because if you go to 1.6, 1.7, even if it's only during decades before you come back to 1.5, it can trigger irreversible changes if we cross tipping points. Tipping points mean that it's unstoppable. If you start letting go of 1.5, I get very nervous that we'll be drifting away towards two and above two, and that would be nothing less than a disaster.